Hello folks, this is tutorial 12 and I'm going to be using a different strategy to save uh, to solve the same problem that I did in 10 and 11, tutorials 10 and 11, uh, using the 3D Experiences uh, FEA, uh, FEA module. Now, uh, this is called tie uh, and hinge, uh, uh, hinge connection and here is the problem that we're going to be solving and I'll explain how is it different from the other two tutorials that uh, I've already done? Uh, so we have a, a beam that's uh, uh, clamped here and it's on a roller there and it is an internal hinge. Now in tutorial 10, what I did, I created a line here and another line and uh, then I placed the, uh, the concentrated force in the middle of that line and of course the internal hinge was generated, uh, generated somehow. Now, uh, in tutorial uh, 11, what I did, I created three lines, one from uh, A to the middle point, another one, the middle line from the middle point to the B, and the third one from B all the way to the roller. And uh, used a, a weld connection here, a connector here, and a connector there, uh, made this thing hinge connector, and made this one a weld connector. So what I want to do now is instead of create, uh, introducing a connector here, I will, uh, I will uh, create a tie uh, functionality. So a connector there because I want to release the, the, the moment, release the resistant, uh, moment resistant. And here I'm not going to do a connector as I did in 11. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a tie node. Now, uh, this is a problem from Hebler's book, and uh, with that radius cross-section, uh, the displacement of the point B should come out to be 4.58, and the analytical solution in the last, uh, last three slides here. So if my measure of assessing whether I'm doing things right or not is look at the deflection at the point B, it should be 4.58, okay? Now here is the strategy, three lines, left line, middle line, right line. And uh, we call this thing killing a, killing, a, uh, killing a fly with a cannon because we, there's, there's no reason to do this kind of a thing. Like tutorial uh, uh, 10 would have done it, a single line put the load at the middle. But I, I want to go through all these different things that can be done. Uh, now, uh, concentrated load is going to go here, hinge is going to go there. This is going to be using the tie node, not the connector. And this one is going to be done with the hinge connector. Now, uh, I have done in tutorial 10 hinge, joint, and cylindrical and show you the get same results. But here I'm only going to do hinge, okay? Don't want to repeat that. And when it comes to creating a, uh, the tie here, you can either tie the end of the uh, left line to the end of the middle line, the, the vertices, or you can do the entire line itself, left line and the entire middle line as uh, places that you want to tie together. Uh, it, it, it'll be the same answer. Okay, so I will just do the end vertices, okay? Uh, so uh, just remember that you create these three lines, do not join them because uh, we don't want to have uh, uh, duplicate nodes here. Uh, and even when you're not joining it and you're separating the separating uh, the separate you're separately meshing them, make sure that this checkbox is off because if this is on, when you when you mesh the middle line, if it sees a node on the left side within the tolerance that's specified, it's going to merge it. We don't want to do that. Okay, so make sure this 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 is off. And as I said, I'm not going to do that. Uh, remember that for a hinge, we need the local coordinate system. Uh, we're not going to do this thing. This was done in 10. Okay, I'm just going to do hinge. And the direction of X must be in the direction of the hinge opening. Okay. And uh, by the way, for us, this is not going to be weld anymore. This is going to be a tie. Okay, this is a bad, bad figure. It was just copied and paste. This is going to be not a weld. This is going to be a tie. Okay. Uh, so this should be in the X direction okay this is not correct this is from 11 okay and now uh, we're just going to do the hinge and this is the analytical solution using principle of visual work and it leads to 4.58 okay let's go ahead and do that let me start with the product file or part file part part design 
Okay, create the three lines. First few minutes of these are pretty much identical. No, uh, uh, these tutorials are identical because I'm creating the same geometry, but I'd rather do it from the scratch so that if you jump into tutorial 11 or 12, you don't have to go back to, to 10 to see what was going on. Uh, point I'm going to make, 0, 0, 0. Direction is Y. Length is 12 feet. Okay, that's the first line, left line. Okay, let's do the right line, uh, middle line. So there's the point. Direction is Y. 12 feet again. Let's do the right line. Here's the point. Direction is Y. And it's 15 feet. Good. And uh, let me create that coordinate system because remember, when I use a hinge, I need the coordinate system. The direction of x specified i'm going to place it here but uh, you can place it elsewhere i'm pretty sure that's going to be well let's let's actually place it here and then uh, we're going to place it somewhere else see whether it's going to work or not okay. as a matter of fact just to just to show what whether it makes a difference i'm going to create two local corner system one over here one over there run the problem with the way where it's supposed to be as shown in this uh, diagram and then i'm going to change that to the other one so here let's say first one origin is going to be right there that's going to be the first one okay and the second one i'm going to select it at that location okay so let's do another one uh, as a matter of fact you know uh, why don't we do the following why don't we go and create an arbitrary corner system out here so let's do this another one uh, for origin, I'm going to make it actually uh, create a point and I'm do, going to do it by coordinates. Let me see now. Uh, let me make this, this thing. Uh, let me push this thing back so X is, uh, I'll make it uh, uh, 10 so that we can see it. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, sure. So the origin is going to be right, right there. Okay. There. All right, ooh, ooh. <laughs> let's try it again. Origin, I'm gonna make it uh, 10, 10. Good. Say okay, say okay, good. So we created two corner system. This is the one that I want, and uh, this is the one that we're gonna be uh, switching later on to actually here what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this thing current so the other one is going to be uh active right now now uh apply material so we go to tools apply material create a material uh i'm going to call it steel make it right there we put it on there and we're going to input our values so structural uh abacus multi-physics mechanical elasticity 29,000 and 0.3 okay good uh, we're pretty much done here now we're going to go to uh structure model creation this is where we do the meshing mtfem click on the mesh mesh tab uh, b mesh let's do the left one one foot uh, mesh size so there's going to be 12 of them over there yeah okay let's do another one Notice that this thing was off, as I as I told you, it has to be off. Do another one. Uh, that's going to be fifteen of them. Okay, good. good. Uh, create the profile. The profile, circular. Uh, two point four eight six. This will guarantee a, an eye which is thirty. Uh, uh, don't forget the inch here, uh, 30 uh, inch to the 4, okay, for analytical solution. 
All right, good. Uh, and the section, beam section, all of them you can select one by one. And then the profile is going to be profile one. Good. That takes care of this. Now let's do our connectors. So first of all, under connectors, uh, let's do the hint one. So we're going to go here in a connector. The type, let me change this thing to hinge. Okay. And uh, for the support, uh, let me hide uh, hide this line. So for first one, is going to, I'm going to select the end of, uh, where is this thing? This vertex is coming from the middle line. For the second one, I'm going to go to hiding because I hit that line. It's this one. So the ends of the middle line and the left line and the access system, I'm going to select this one. And we're going to run it. And then we're going to come back and run it with this one, see whether it makes a difference or not. So that's why X is going this way. This is our X. Very good. And now we need a tie right here. You see that tie right there, tie. You click on it. As I said, you can select the end of this line, the left line, and the end of the, the middle line, or you can select the entire line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the entire line because it's easier. Uh, so this line, and for the second one, it's going to be the middle line. And it says tie rotational degree of freedom if applicable. Because I want I want these things basically to deform uh, as if there was no hinge here. So the rotations must be the same on both sides. And then we say, okay, good. So uh, I think we're pretty much done here. We have a hinge here, we have a tie there. You can see that, that's the icon for the tie. Uh, these two, these these two, these two support the tie is going to be tying these two pieces together. I could have done the end of that and the end of this, okay. And that these these icons, these uh, purple and green icon would have been at that location instead. But that, that's fine. I use the edges. Uh, now uh, we're going to go to our uh, uh, structural scenario creation. Select the empty FEM. Or so select the, the model that we have created. Good. And under procedure, scroll to the right, select the static perturbation. Now we're going to do clamp this end. So under boundary condition, so let's find the clamp. This end, we're going to clamp. And this end is on a roller. So uh, let's go ahead and get the fixed displacement. So that end, now if I cannot select it from here because the line isn't hiding, let me bring it to the front, right there. See this? Uh, cannot move in direction X, cannot move in direction Z. It can only roll along the y, y axis, but rotation is free about X and fixed Y and Z. All right, let's apply our forces. Uh, now, the only problem is I need a group here, okay? Because if I put my force there, we're going to have a problem. Uh, well, actually, uh, it may not, it may be okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. So force, maybe because they are high, they may be okay. Minus 8K. It may work. If not, then we're going to come back and create a group. Okay. And then uh, that takes care of this. We can put our uh, torque over there. No problem with that. There. And about the x axis, minus 30,000. Minus 3.23. It's minus 30,000 pound foot. Good. And hopefully you haven't forgotten anything. Let's go ahead and uh, simulate. Uh, first we do a check to see if there are any issues. No issues. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna run. The only thing that I was concerned about that 
because I tied it, I did not know whether this was going to work or not. Otherwise, you could have created a group and put the load on that group, load group. But I think this is going to work. We better get 4.58 inches down. Displacement? No. A definite, oh, oh, oh wait a minute, 4.58 into the three, maybe I inputted some numbers incorrectly. Yes, I know what I did wrong. In the Young's modulus, in the material, I think in, in, inadvertently, I put down 29,000 PSI, it should be KSI. It was a thousand times off, so it did actually work. So let's go back and run it. Yep. It was a thousand times less stiff. That's why we got, instead of 4.58, we got 4.58, 10 to the three. It's gonna work. And then I'm gonna, after this works, I'm gonna go and change my corner system it's just that the direction X is still in the same same direction as opening. You want to see whether the corner system has to be at the lock hinge location or it can be off. I'm pretty sure it can be off, but we'll find out. It's the direction that matters, probably. Yeah, four point five eight. Good. That's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go here on the connector. Uh, under connector engineering connections under the hinge right there this was the hinge double click and instead of the access system this we're going to take the access system, system two okay so uh now we go back to scenario and run and we're hoping that uh, you get 4.58 the direction X is still the same as the old direction, direction of the opening, but it doesn't have to be literally at the same location. The proof comes in a few seconds. I mean, for visualization purposes, I like that first corner system because we're sitting right at the hinge, but uh, yeah, 4.58, it doesn't matter the direction, is what counts. All right, folks, take care.